playing in their last game here in China. Gilas Pilipinas was hoping that going up against an opponent they know would give them at least a sweet ending to what has been a tough stint in the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Okay, it's our last game for this World Cup, guys. Okay, so uh, make the most out of it. But the Philippine team was also expecting Iran to give it their all in the game as they were aiming for an Olympic spot. Iran needed to win and needed to win big to surge ahead of host team China. Head coach Yang Gia was hopeful that the three-point shots would finally fall for Gilas and that is exactly what happened in the first quarter with Gabe Norwood even scoring his first basket of the entire competition. However, Iran slowly took over. With fouls mounting against Gilas, the bigger Iranians got going. In the fourth and final period, Robert Bollick did his best to fight back for the Philippines as Andre Blach was ejected due to two technical fouls. But it would not nearly be enough as Iran celebrated their entry into the 2020 Tokyo Olympics on the World Cup floor. Now comes the hard part for Philippine basketball as it is time to pick up the pieces and start planning for 2023. Uh, nagpapasalamat ako no, sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin na kahit na nahirapan tayo, natalo tayo, uh, nag-struggle tayo, nandyan pa rin sila na sumusuporta pa rin. No? Uh, palagay ko, uh, sila yung ano eh, no? sila yung uh, unang-unang iniisip namin. No, pagka kami naglalaro, pagka kami natatalo, iniisip namin, daming nalungkot. No? So, uh, sa inyo po na nagdasal, sa inyo po na uh, nagbigay ng inyong mga uh, positive thoughts and encouragement, maraming salamat po sa inyo. No? Uh, susubukan po natin na mapagbuti pa sa, sa susunod. From Beijing, China, Carlo Pamintuan, We Are One News. Now, it's not just Gilas Pilipinas that's out of the Olympic contention despite high hopes. China also had a poor showing in the FIBA World Cup and its basketball legend, Yao Ming, is taking the blame for the country's losses. The former Houston Rocket star who's been president of the Chinese Basketball Association since 2017 assumed full responsibility after China's 73-86 loss against Nigeria last Sunday. Yao says he's disappointed the fans and that the gap between China and other countries big on, countries big on basketball has only widened.